Okay, so today I am going to show you how to print a web page as a PDF file. This is good because you can send the PDF file to families, friends, or whoever you want. And it's a good way to save a web, save a web page. For example, you're reading through a newspaper or an online news blog or someone's web page, and all of a sudden it disappears because somehow their website is not working. Uh, so to do this, you first open your browser. All Macs come with a Safari pre-installed. It's very simple to use, but Safari is lacking in a feature which I will show you after with Firefox. So right now we're just going to use Safari. I'm going to close Firefox by pressing Command W. Now, how do we print this page? It's not really printing a page because you're saving it as a PDF, but to get to save as a PDF, you want to press Command P, which is a print page. Under print page, we will have this option that says uh, show detail or hide detail. I usually prefer having the details shown. From here, you can choose, you get a preview of your pages, so you can choose if you want to print only page one or if you want to print only page two. This will save you a uh, file size. If you're actually printing, it will save you paper. So page two looks quite useless right here. So we're only going to print page one. So this will say one out of one. So you press PDF, you do save as PDF. And I will choose save onto desktop because that it, you can see it visually on desktop. But you can also choose documents, downloads, movies, music, pictures, etc. So uh, you just press save. And it'll show up on your desktop. Here we go, double click it. And that's exactly what it looks like. This is a PDF document, as you can see. Do a command I and tell you right here, portable document format PDF. It's only 496 kilobytes. Okay, so that's that. But what if you only want to print a certain selection from a web page? For example, you just want to show someone this text and nothing else. How would you do that? You can copy paste it, so you do Command C, that's how you copy. We'll open Text Edit. Here's Text Edit. You can paste it, Command V. Okay. There we go, that's one way. And then you do the same thing, you do Command P. And then from here, you do Save as PDF onto Desktop, Untitled. You can title it whichever you want. Okay, now you have a PDF document. There we go. PDF, double click to open it. That's what it looks like, the PDF of that. Now that's the long way to do it. There's a short way, short and easy. We'll close all these now. Quit out of Safari. We're going to Firefox. Okay, so in Firefox, we go to apple.com, so it's the same web page we're looking at. Okay, it's not the same web page we're looking at. All right, well, here's Apple's front web page on Firefox. What happens is, uh, let's find some text. What was this page? We do Apple start page. Okay, so we'll go here. These pages look identical, I would hope. Apple start on Firefox and Apple start on Safari. This is Safari over here. This is Firefox over here. Okay, now this is how we do it on Firefox as well. You do Command P, and then you do Show Detail. It doesn't give you the nice preview of the page, but you do Save Option, Save as PDF, and you do, we'll name it Firefox. Save. Well, we didn't choose a folder, so you got saved over there into documents. So that's what it looks like. We saved the page. It's a two-page file, so we could actually shrink it down to one page if we wanted to. But what if we only want this section, nothing else? This doesn't select it from sidebar. Nope. Page all. 
See, it doesn't give you an option to just have this one section. On Windows, it does. So what happens is uh, you go into Firefox, you do, you select the area you want, and you do the same thing. You can Command P, and then under Options, you're given Print Screen Selection, Print Selection Only, and we'll do Print. Or actually, we're not printing. We're saving as PDF. Save as PDF. I'm sorry about that. Firefox. Since we named the other wall untitled. Okay. And it's on the desktop. Okay, so now this is this. This is the text in Firefox. You might get some cropping and clipping. It might not look as pretty as this, but that's a quick way to do it in Firefox. All right, now you know it. The best way to do this, to select, to print the selection of text is to select it. You do Command C. You go into top right, you do, you open Text Edit. In Text Edit, you paste it. And then from Text Edit, you do Command P. And you do PDF. You save as a PDF onto your desktop and you name it as Apple Start or any page name you want. So you do save. Apple Start already exists. Sure, I don't need the other one. Replace. And there. Now you have a PDF of the page. Don't save this. Okay, that was the other one we saved from Safari. So, of course, you can do this from Safari as well, or from Firefox, from Google Chrome, Opera, or is it Opera? All right, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it will help you and has helped you. If you wish or if you have any questions, feel free to comment on the bottom. Or, yeah, that's the best way for now. I will post, in the, post this onto my own blog eventually, and you can find my contact information from there. Alright, have a good day.